Alrighty, g'day guys, welcome to another game of Legend TD on Lil. It's a fart drop and reroll. Can uh, fish one of these to go double ranger because I might occasionally play that. Uh, I have to, don't I? It's so bad, I don't want to play it. God, I hate... We're gonna see how badly I fucked this up, actually. I feel like it's gonna be really bad. But we're gonna do it. Job done. Is it just really bad? Maybe it's just really trolling. I should've played, like, NG Wyvern, but I don't even think that's good. <laughs> I'm not I'm not happy about this and I'm not sure if it's uh like aggressively incorrect, but we'll we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. I feel like I should apologize to my team already, but maybe it will end up going well. And then I can pretend it's all completely fine. I think that makes sense. Hydra with the uh, slave on level 7 sounds pretty bad. Sounds like you just don't have enough damage. He goes Hades. Which I guess is okay. It's like maybe too much carry, but it's probably fine. Job's done. Actually, let's put the crab, let's put the crab here, and then we'll put the live in here. Actually, no, let's put the crab here. Yeah. Staying one zero for three. Yeah, they just die if push and they send on three, so we're not going to. Crab is obviously a bad unit level 2, and I would like to send here, but there's no risk of like to no send. And it's possible I hold send as well, if the Dark Priest snipes the send, which it can do. Ah, interesting. Well, if we're gonna go for Hades, then I like this. One Disciple only. It sets us up better for 10. It's probably like same same on 7, but it's better on 10. Okay, it's, it's interesting, but I like it. If we're gonna go for Hades, it makes sense. Okay, they do send here. I think I'm happy about that. Yeah, Blood Orc gets stuck on the crab for a decent amount of time. Dark Brace snipes the Blood Orc. Yeah. Okay, easy mid. That's good. That's really helpful for me, actually. And I even get some feed. Because uh, the slave has a bit mid, but I should have the lion's share of the actual DPS in mid. And then I can sell my crab for um, second Dark Priest on 5, third Dark Priest on 7. And I can... Can you not take both the Blood Orcs though? Rude. 
very rude. Or whatever. I mean, any feed at all is, like, very <laughs> gratefully taken. How much do you sell for, mate? You sell for, uh, 76. Yeah. You sell for 76. Oh, I went 2-1, because I forgot I was 1-0. <laughs> Whoops. It's fine, 2-1 and 3-0 uh, are the same. In terms of our lumber per 10 seconds. Well, lumber per second, but wisps tick every 10 seconds. So as long as you've got 3-1 in the queue, uh, as long as you got the third wisp in the queue, 2-1 is, like, the same. Just there's no reason to do it, basically. So he needed... Yeah, okay, he needed... Actually, he didn't need gold at all, but whatever, it's fine. Really interesting that my wyvern's like not tanking any damage at all. It's kind of worrying. But I think once I ditch the crab, Anything else I build up on Savage probably needs to go behind the Dark Priest to make sure that doesn't happen. I don't like them leaking here. I don't want time. I want a freehold on 7 into mid on 10. But I mean, they should never ever give that, really, I don't think. I think my hold will be crap on 7. But, uh, that's okay. Maybe there's a world where I'm meant to just push really hard here. Uh, they have a flame beard with infantry. Okay. The classic Neil throw. If we had wood, we could go six, but we don't. We don't have the push to actually want the time on 6 anyway. It's a shame we're not just for YOLOs with that scout, but it's alright. So at this point, do I push or do I stay? I feel like I want to push. But it also feels really TK. Maybe I should just get a Witch Doctor. Yeah, the Wyvern's tanking now and there's nothing in front. Okay, we want that Wyvern to tank. Hmm, we're kind of bad on six. I can build a big crab. How much do I need? I need 225. As long as I get a bit of mid feed, I get it. Do I do it? I could. How bad is it if they six? If they firm it? It's really bad. Yeah, okay, let's do it. And old mate here sells for... A lot of gold. Yeah, he sells for like a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of gold. Okay, well, we'll see if they six and I get rewarded. I mean, it makes sense to do this. It's really disgusting, but yeah. Like, I lose gold now, but it's better than just ripping really hard on six. Because we would rip pretty hard. Wow, 
pro focus. So are we skipping? I'm okay with it. Should take the scout though, indeed. Indeed, indeed. One lane leaking, two lanes leaking. There's a privateer. Snaker King though, I'd be down for skip. Sorry mate. Gonna get that witch doctor. And we'll see how much I leak. Because it looks a bit like a cheeky full send. It's 16 attack. It's kind of too much. Sorry, you know. <laughs> Old mate saving HP and like killing his line for. I say for us, realistically, it's for me. Uh, playing the way I'm playing, so I feel a bit bad about that. That being said, he is really helping me out doing it, so I appreciate it as well. Yeah, Ferb, two Dark Trolls, no Hermit. Okay, I mean, not definitely not that big a send on me. I think I can't mid, though. I don't have the front line. Dark Priest is a kind of paper. Yeah, this is pretty horrendous, actually. Didn't even snipe the uh, Trolls. Maybe I'm really just meant to uh, full push. I'm not even sure if it did. Not this time. I think that's mostly just I shouldn't be 3 1 with it, realistically. I mean, I think I'm just not meant to do that shit with the crab, right? So that means I stay low. Maybe if I'm like 5-1 doing pretty much the same, it feels okay. Maybe it doesn't even feel okay then. Maybe it's just terrible and I should yolo it. Looks like it. It's definitely not a good build. First the send, and that was like not a big send, right? So I shouldn't be doing badly at all, to be honest. Alright, we'll store that in the, like, memory bank. The Dark Priest, we need, like, a bit more aggressive of a front line than just, like, three Dark Priest and a bit more. Ah, fair enough. Pretty crap performance from me there. Hmm. Yeah, I think the answer is, um... Can I get Dark Priest, Young Witch, Doc Wyvern? 580. Nah, I need Dino for 2 if I'm gonna do that. Okay. So, Crab, Witch, Doc Wyvern. Or Crab, Wyvern, Dark Priest. Then, like, Witch Doc for... 5? Or maybe second Crab for 5. Sell one of them for Dark Prey 6. Something like that. Or just, like, yeah, second Crab for 5. Leave that for 6. Probably leaks a little bit. And then push more. Yeah, I'm not sure. Something like that. I think I'm going to have four Dark Priest only. Nice Overseer. Good damage here, actually. Hmm. 
Hmm. What should I do this game? Does Dark Priest Engineer good? I have no idea. Probably not. The other option I'm thinking I had was I keep the TOT on one and play it with like Crab into Dark Priest on three and then I like do this Dark Priest setup with an upgraded TOT as my front line which might have worked a lot better. That was definitely an option I had. I considered it like very briefly and then discarded it pretty quickly on level one because honestly I'm not sure how to pilot it well but Seeing how terribly this went, I think it could have been definitely the better angle. Or at least uh, something that I might try in the future. This is me fucking IERing my own build, right? If you watch that video, um, intent, execution, result. Intent, uh, take feed, carry, blah blah blah, fine. Ended up staying lower than I wanted to because fear of level 6. Felt like I couldn't really take the push. I was probably under pushed by level 5, just um, on level 5 rather, just miss, miss this executing. Uh, we're sending Panda, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, we're just going wild mass, or I'm just going wild mass then. Nice of them. Um, yeah, so miss executing a bit there. I think the intent generally was okay, but it should have been inclined to push a bit more thinking on this roll I don't really have the ads I'm looking for which maybe means it should have been two dark priests but I feel like if I'm not building dark priests with this roll and I'm like trying to overbuild then it's really bad if I'm yelling then it's totally fine hmm, interesting 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 but I mean, yeah, in the end I'm pretty pretty weak. I'm not useless because Dark Priest is broken, but I'm really weak. gonna build some tier ones. I think realistically they're the most helpful thing I can have. Actually, no I'm not. We're gonna drop these and we're gonna just actually grab a crab in the back which will run from in front of the dark brace and then I can sell it. Alright, small send. If I break to this then it's just embarrassing. I guess I shouldn't but we'll see. Okay, so yeah, Wyvern takes the damage, then the crab walks forward, takes the damage. Alright, I won't break to this, which is good, the witch dock tanks here. I won't, right? Oh my god, I think I'm breaking. That's unideal. Mm, yeah. It's just not, it's just not good. It's really not good at all. They got two mid, probably. Yeah. Oh, they like fuck all here, really. The disgusting thing is the fact that I'm still pretty relevant this game just because if I'm sniping sends it's very good. Going 7-5 for sure. It was really bad. The way I played this though. It was really really bad.
but yeah, in the end, I guess I build more Dark Price, snipes, uh, snipe more sends, and that'll be that. Or do we try and win the arena as a priority? Nah. I'm gonna push. Just occurred to me that I'm not sure if I hold 11. I probably hold 11, right? Right. Right, obviously we still want to win the arena. It's very doable. Not guaranteed, but it's very doable. Looks like it is a win. Yeah, good. I'm gonna fake. I actually think fake pushing here is a mistake. Because it's like really obvious, or it should be really obvious to them that I'm never ever pushing. So all I'm telling them is, hey, I had at least 60 gold banked. Um, which they probably are aware of. I mean, they don't have to be. My score's really low. So how much do you sell? Yeah, you sell for enough. Cool. I have a uh, these two to sell, even if it was a little bit off. Job done. Enlighten me. Out with it. I bid you. Enlighten me. Ascendant's pretty good snipe and sends. Good thing we won the arena, because with one less Dark Post I'm licking, like, definitely. And kind of a lot. <laughs> Our hell, man. It's just such fucking Dark Price tragedy. I feel like I can still have a redemption arc on 15. By just sniping all the sends and like going mid, even though I never ever ever deserve to this game. We have more king. We send more. We have okay lanes. I think they're never 14. I am prepared. More gold is required. It has begun. That's a good thing. I bid you. Job done. Out with it. Enlighten. Yeah, uh, I think it's a bit of a stretch to call my line decent this game. I bid you, I am prepared. Out with it. Enlighten me. Research complete. I bid you, I am prepared. I bid you, out with it. But hey, I have lots of dark priests, and that can lead to some very balanced things happening, so we're just going to continue relying on that. So if the question comes up, why am I not using my reroll, I would counter with 
I am low value to the point where what is better than trying to snipe more sands. Helicopter is worth it. Parasite is nice. Tok is probably worth it. Yeah, Tok is probably worth it. So Parasite isn't worth rolling 50 gold for, in my opinion, even though it's nice, and I'd be happy to have it. So there are two units, I think, which realistically make my lane better. Then the question becomes, like, is it worth using 50 gold and 50 lumber for two units? And I would say it's not. Job done. 360, so 60 plus 181. Yeah, there's no way. Reroll into Tok, that is amazing. Reroll into... I mean, uh, Highborn is for sure worth it. I would sell the archers for the Highborn. Yeah. No, he does, uh, Druid, uh, Disciple, alright, sure. I think just in case they're 14, basically, I think the highborn's the angle you go for, because you're going to be getting at 15 anyway. Because it's, uh, good double Hades. I think I'm going to, like, 14 to no send. By the way. Did not think I was going to leak 13 to no sand, which is because I'm not leaking 13 to no sand. Okay, cool. Glad we got that out of the way. Please don't do that. These don't give me any gold, and these do. She's gonna get a couple of these to just try and <laughs> not leak to no send. Ah oh, man. It's a fun time. Free roll. Tuck is not good for him really. If he can get double hydra, I would just bank for double hydra. He can sell the little servants for it. Might get some Slave Master Guild, probably not. Reach my uh, double crack and behemoth at least. Yeah, okay. At least I was right about this. So that's something, I guess. How much bounty do I give? Okay, well, I give a lot of bounty, so that's almost like I played well, right? It's like spoiler alert. It's 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 not it's not at all. Yeah. Imagine not saving gold. <laughs> the joke there is I didn't save gold. But anyway, it's it's not fine at all. I shouldn't say it's fine. It's not fine at all. It's so TK. Alright, let's go Priest Kyle. That's uh, obviously a reference to Chris Kyle, American Sniper. The American Sniper. Sniping those Fire Lords and Krakens. So that's the thing, if I'm 7-5, right, 
time if I'm a 7-5 lion that sends two kraken behemoth on 15 by myself, and I kill all my sends on 15, I can pretend that I did good enough this game. Even though it is a disgusting falsehood. Alright, two Kraken's behemoth on everyone. Behemoth down. One Kraken down. Come on. Quelthalothian snipers. Well, I killed both my Krakens, so that's good, right? I mean, it's something. It's better than nothing. It's not good, though. I actually like fastest, which is good. I mean, it means there's one snipable Fire Lord. If they have mid, it's very doomed. They don't, so it's... And this snipable fire lord is like genuinely a good thing, right? Because bang, we only have three fire lords. Two fire lords. I mean, the sand split is like the split lakes are really good for us. He needs to get this warlock. He's trying, he got it. We live for a fair while. I haven't been counting their heals at all though, so I'm not sure how we're going in terms of that. We probably lose, right? Considering we're, we're a heal behind. We're actually ahead in the HP. Okay, we just end up winning. That's fine, I played perfectly, we won. That's how it works. Anyway, cheers very much for watching, guys. I played super fucking bad, apologies to my team. I misexecuted pretty badly. Uh, but yeah, we'll learn from that for next time. Like, subscribe, all of that, and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.